Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your digital mentor. Today I am here to start with the chapter 6 of class 5 that is green land, the land of ice and snow. So let's kick start. These animals live in cold regions. Fill in the missing letters to get their names. So let's start with tundra region. Tundra comes from the Finnish word Tunturia, which means a barren land. The land is barren because the ground is permanently frozen 25 to 100 centimeter down and so trees can't grow here. At some places, the bare and rocky ground can support low growing plants like mosses, heath and lichens. Tundra happens to be at the top of the world near the North Pole. Its precise location, climate, vegetation, animals and indigenous people are described below. So let's see the location. Located at latitudes 50 degree to 70 degree north, the Tundra region is a vast treeless land which covers about 20% of the earth's surface mostly around the North Pole. Almost all tundras are located in the northern hemisphere. Small tundra-like areas do exist in Antarctica in the southern hemisphere, where the average annual temperature is minus 56 degrees Celsius. Now children, it's time for tits and bits. The US submarine USS Nautilus sailed under the Arctic ice sheet and reached the North Pole in 1985. This proved that the huge ice sheet in the Arctic is actually floating on water. Now see the climate of Tundra region. So the Tundra is the world's coldest and driest region where the main season are winter and summer. The average annual temperature is minus 28 degrees celsius here nights can last for weeks when the sun barely rises during some months in the winter during this period the temperature can drop to minus 70 degrees celsius during the summer the sun shines almost 24 hours a day the summer are usually warm when temperature rises up to 12 degrees celsius the Arctic tundra region is also a windy place but is basically like a desert. Only 15 to 25 centimeter of precipitation falls each year, mostly in the form of snow. That is why it is also called a cold desert. Now see vegetation. There is rare vegetation in the tundra region. You can find only shrubs, sedges, mosses, lichens and grasses here and there. Besides birch trees, some varieties of flower can also be found here. The growing is only 50 to 60 day long. There are no trees except for some bushes in the lower latitudes. Willows grow on some parts of the Tundra region but only as low carpet about 8 cm high and are called dwarfs. Now it's time to see the animals of that region. Surprisingly, there are animals in the tundra region through only 48 species. These species consist of slightly modified hairs, walls, foxes, bears, deers, shrews and rodents. There are huge herds of caribou in North America also known as reindeer in Eurasia. There are also smaller herds of musk oxen, wolves and arctic foxes are the predators of the tundra region. Smaller mammals are snowshoe rabbits and lemmings. Some insects such as black flies, deer flies, mosquitoes and nociums, tiny biting midges make the tundra region a miserably place to live in. 
The marshy tundra is a great place for migratory birds like harlequin ducks, sandpipers and plovers. Aquatic animals of this region include arctic coat fish, walruses, fur seals and polar bears. Polars Though aquatic animals spend most of their time on the sea ice to catch their prey from the water below. Indigenous people The indigenous people of the Tundra region are Inuits, also known as Eskimos, live in Canadian Arctic and Greenland. Yakuts live in Siberian Tundras. They are engaged in fishing and hunting for fur. The Sami people live in Finland, Sweden and Norway. They survive as hunter-gatherers. The Chukchi people live in the interior of Chukchi Peninsula, Russia. Traditionally, they have been herdsmen and hunters of reindeer, seals, whales, walruses and sea lions. Their food by necessity, the people are non-vegetarian and eat mainly reindeer, seals, walruses as well as fish. Their diet consists of large amount of fat to help them keep warm. Their clothing. Animal skin are the material of choice for clothing in the Tundra region. Undergarments made of leather and the outer clothing made of fur help the people keep warm. Now they are housing. With no wooden buildings material available, people use houses called igloos which are dome shaped and are made of blocks of tightly packed snow which is a good insulator. A hole is made in the center of the dome to allow smoke and hot air to pass through. The floor is covered with the skin and the fur of animals. During summers, people live in tents made of animal hide. These are called topics. In recent years, people have started living in modern houses. Now children, it's time to looking back. This region has two seasons winter and summer. Tundra region is a barren treeless land that is permanently frozen. Indigenous people of this region include Eskimos, Yakuts, Sami people and Chukchi people. It is located at latitudes between 55 degree to 70 degree north. Small Tundra region like areas exist in the southern hemisphere also. Surprisingly, there are many animals in the tundra region. They include carbo, musk ox, arctic fox, etc. So children, it's time to take your leave. So bye. We'll meet.